So I'm starting my new series, The Real Estate Rundown. I'm here today with San Diego Tom. Let's kick it off. San Diego Tom in the house. How are you, bro? Here I am. I'm doing splendid. Good to have you here, man. Thank you for having me. First real estate rundown series where we're uh, so we're, we're going to be talking to you know top agents about what's going on in the market and the changes and you know how to navigate through it and yep. just tips That's and what tricks, we're here for. tips and tricks on real estate. So tips and tricks. Let's get into it. You've been selling real estate for a long time. You're a yeah. seasoned pro. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's start off with so. let's talk about some of the stuff that buyers in this market. You know, there's not a lot of inventory. <clears throat> what are some things that we can do to help our buyers get their offer accepted? Well, sure. So you got to absolutely uh, submit your paperwork to your lender in advance, get an underwritten um, approval up front. Um, up front. So that way we can be ready to go w once the one hits the market. Once you find that a dream house, you've yeah. got to have it. You're already underwritten approved. You're ready to roll. Yeah. No time after that point. You got to, you have to move fast. I so. agree. And we do that. We underwrite our borrowers up front, TBD underwrite. Let's get yeah. them approved without a property so that they can go and write a very short close. Yeah, because we write our offers for 14 days, so there's yeah. no time to fool around and be gathering paperwork at that point. Absolutely. It'll be have that done. Totally. I'm on yeah. the same page there. Yeah. Love it. And then let's talk on the listing side. So you want to sell your house in this market. What are some things you guys are doing to help your uh, your sellers out? Oh, I love it. So what I do for my sellers, we do a pre-listing appraisal. Okay. And so that way we can substantiate the value. Um, my sellers love that. So we'll... Mm -hmm push the value as much as we can, bona fide appraisal stamped okay. uh, and so forth. And that way we can hand that to the buyer's lender. I gotcha. Um, so they know yeah. up front, like here's what's yeah. going on. There's no surprises. No surprises. My okay. appraisals never come in short. Okay. Always setting the bar. Yeah. Setting with time. Tom, setting with Tom, setting the bar. Setting the bar. And then lastly, let's talk about, so, you know, what I like to do when I'm, when I'm ref you know, working with a buyer that's going to be writing an offer. I like to call the listing agent. I'm sure you as a listing agent appreciate when you get a call from a lender that says, yeah, we're, we're underwritten approved. I call it the brag call. I'm yeah. going to explain the, you know, the, the nuances of the loan that they're, you know, completely dialed in and that, and they explain we can go quickly. We can close in two weeks. Is that something as a Oh, that's agent, huge. Yeah. You like to hear that. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially when you call. Especially when I call. <laughs> yeah. But no, for real though, it's definitely no, uh, absolutely. It sets that, that goes buyer ahead of the others, you know. And, and it makes the sellers and the listing or the listing agent more comfortable. Who they're going to be working with? Yeah, absolutely. It kind of sets, the, yeah. sets the tone. Yeah, because we're going to be building a relationship for the next two weeks. We want to make sure that yeah. the other side, you know, everything is squared away. I love it. Yeah. Well, dude, thanks for uh, being my first guest on the new show, The Real Estate Rundown. Hope to have you back soon. Thank you. Give you the man. Later. <laughs>